So I saw Alien Romulus, and I'm going to talk about it. I'll divide this into non-spoiler, and then you'll know when spoiler will arrive, because I will show on screen the word spoiler. Um, after that, I'll do a quick tier list of the Alien movies and my favorites. I'll talk a little bit about each one, and I'll try not to talk too much. But let's start with um, Alien Romulus, which... I'm a pretty big Alien movie fan. I'd say the first movie is in my top 10. Aliens is somewhere around there. And uh, I would also say that the rest of the movies are good, generally. Um, some stuff that I don't love, but it's not a series with, like, absolute garbage. Now, I'm not bringing up AVP. That's a whole different story. But Alien Romulus uh, is, like, kind of... It's good. It's good. It's a little frustrating, but I did really like a lot of it. And um, without getting into any spoilers, here's what I liked. The cinematography was great, looked good on a big screen. The sound design was great. Uh, everything about the production of the movie was phenomenal. The look of the station, the, you know... Obviously, spoilers, there's aliens. It's not a real spoiler yet, don't worry. Uh, but all that looked good. That sound effect was not related, I promise. That was an unrelated sound effect. Um, but yeah, the, the movie itself looks great, it sounds great. The acting is good. The characters were mostly likable. The best character was the, um, the android character, to me. Um... Kaylee Spanny was good, the lead. Um, I was a little worried about the characters being like kind of, they're, they're like young compared to the previous Alien movies. And I was worried it was going to be um, Skibidi. You know, like it was like Skibidi toilet to you. I'm kidding, by the way. But it wasn't. It was actually pretty good performances. There were real stakes involved, not the meat. And uh, it just ended up being. Good acting, pretty good characters, some of them not as developed, and um, like a decent reason to get everything started. Another thing I liked about the movie was there was a lot of pacing that felt appropriate. Like, like there's always something to keep the plot moving forward, and it felt there was some good scares as a result. Like, it felt scary. So... In that sense, the movie succeeds as kind of an alien horror movie. There's a little bit of action. It does what it has to do. And uh, I think people were saying, you know, it takes place between Alien 1 and 2, but people were saying before this movie came out, it was going to be like a combo of the two movies. It's more Alien 1 than Aliens. By, by like, a lot. But it succeeds, generally. Um, you go to the theater and you, you watch it. And it's, it's an alien movie that is actually scary at times. Uh, I don't like some of the blatant fan service. And I didn't like how formulaically alien it became. It kind of... Uh, that gets into spoilers a bit, but the second half of the movie becomes mostly very predictable. And mostly kind of like, you know, maybe a little eye-rolling at times. Uh, there was also a couple unintentional laughs that my friend and I, uh, my movie friend Tyler, who I've talked about, we watch all the Alien movies together when we can, and uh, we both had a couple moments where we laughed out loud in the theater, and that's usually not good for a horror movie. Remember, this is just my opinion. This is how I felt about it, and obviously mileage may vary. But that, and then, like like I said, some of the fan service didn't work for me. And also, some of the story beats felt like, okay, I, I know where this is going. Got it. So, those are the things I didn't like. But I would say that um, there's a, a one more issue before I get into spoilers. Is that it feels a little bit too... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It doesn't really feel like it has a lot to say, which is kind of a, I mean, you know, it's kind of a, 
a dumb thing to say in some ways because you know you can find something i'm sure there's there's a couple things like these characters want to leave and there's good reasons for that so it, it definitely touches on some things but compared to prometheus which has got a ton of you know stuff imbued in it about the nature of creation and like you know who created the creators even and you know it gets philosophical it doesn't always work but there were some some stuff in i've rewatched prometheus and covenant somewhat recently and i ended up liking them more than the first time i saw them so in that sense the movies you know they had their their strong points which were like they kind of you made when you left the theater you were thinking about stuff and there's some really interesting like deep thought that kind of went into um some of the the stuff they proposed whereas this movie is just kind of you know alien horror couple little things otherwise but alien horror so again by no means a bad movie that's just kind of where i'm at with it um i don't know if i can say very much more without getting into spoilers so again i'm not a professional reviewer you know i don't really know much of what i'm talking about i can only give you my gut reaction and then compare it to stuff that i like from the series and i can say that it's worth seeing i can imagine some people are going to love this movie and some aren't going to like it as much because it might end up being a little divisive but compared to like alien 3 this feels a lot more safe like very safe and it does kind of make me wish ridley would finish his trilogy which again that trilogy that that prequel trilogy is a spotty weird mess in my opinion but i also like it and i like you know david the android so you know point is um yes i think go see it in a theater it's kind of better in a theater or just see it when you can and if you really like the alien stuff you'll probably like this if you really 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 like alien movies and you know the lore this might end up getting a little bit more it might feel f a little too familiar so that's kind of where i'm at with it i would need to watch it again i would need to spend time you know maybe away from it and then come back to it like six months from now a year from now and then reassess but i think i enjoyed the experience in the theater and um, wasn't really bored and the movie looked good so go see it all right quick spoiler discussion before i do my tier list title t spoilers so skip ahead to when you see the tier list if you don't want romulus spoilers okay so one thing that the movie really did to upset me <laughs> was its callback lines the character the android andy by the way who's great the actor is great character is really interesting good like cool kind of character arc and um the main character i think rain and andy have a good chemistry and i feel like that's the heart of the movie which i liked a lot but yeah he was cool but then he says um <laughs> at one point he says uh get away from her you bitch and then he looked at the camera and smiled that's the easy joke he didn't look at the camera what ended up happening though was it felt forced it felt like here this is a famous line from the series this character knows it's a famous line from the series but you know why do they know that and it didn't feel earned it didn't feel right it was just out of nowhere and anyway it was it took me out of the movie i laughed there were a couple other lines that character said didn't bother me as much but anytime the movie indulged in these little things that these little fan service moments it took away from the overall feeling of the movie itself for me and i felt the writing and i felt the board of directors and i felt the producers say make it more alien so that upset me not enough to like ruin the movie but it was just it took me out took me out the other thing is um the android here's a big spoiler is a cg recreation of ian holm 
who played Ash in the original Alien movie. And this, you know, they'd, they'd CG'd him like Tarkin from Star Wars Rogue One. And it looked real weird. Every time he was on screen, immediately took me out of the movie. There was actually no need for Ian Holm to be in this film at all, even his likeness. Apparently, they did get a blessing from his family to do this, and they claim it was a tribute to him. I don't, I don't trust Hollywood, but I don't doubt that maybe Fede Alvarez seems like a good dude. I don't know, maybe a good director. I liked his Evil Dead movie, but um, it just served absolutely no purpose other than just taking me out of the movie. Ethical concerns aside, you know, they did get the permission whatever that means to you, the dear listener, right now. But what bothered me was there was no need for it. I know this actor is dead. And I know that the mannerisms and the performance were approaching Ian Holm levels, but it, it's not him. And it just kind of, I don't know, just didn't work for me at all, really. It really just could have been another actor, like some... You know, some uh, like like really um, like a character actor, like a famous character actor who can deliver exposition in a way that's you know natural and interesting, and maybe like a good weird android performance. It would have been fine. It almost links back. To, it doesn't really need to be Ian Holm because it doesn't link back to Alien One in that way at all. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. So obviously, as you can see, I'm struggling to even talk about it because I don't really get why they did it. There was a connection to Prometheus with the black goo. And it didn't really bother me. But what bothered me, I thought, and it's cool to link some of that stuff, even if I feel like Prometheus, as many cool ideas as it has, and, you know, Covenant, where, you know, David creates a xenomorph. I don't think he was the first one to create it. He just creates a xenomorph. Um, lore reasons aside, when the black goo entered into the equation... I could see what they were going to do with that from a mile away. There's a character who's pregnant. And as soon as there's a thought that <laughs> she could take this to heal her injuries. As soon as there was an utterance of that, I said, got it. Know exactly where it's going. And it paid exactly off the same way I thought it would. Which is to say, it created, <laughs> for me, I'm not, <laughs> and this is a me problem, possibly. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, I'm serious, by the way. I, I really want to know what you guys think. She gives birth to an alien-human-engineer hybrid. The human engineeromorph or whatever. And it looked so... It was a freak. It was so ridiculous, though. It we, Again, we were laughing anytime it was on screen. It looked, but you know why it was weird? It looked like someone I kind of knew. And yeah, it was disturbing and, and weird. But when you have the xenomorph, like they, they kind of, you know, did so much with that creature and tried so many variations of it that if they want to do something different, I kind of applaud like, okay, we're going to try something completely different. But it just looked so goofy to me. Um, it, 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 was, it was creepy. Don't get me wrong. It was creepy, but... I shouldn't be laughing at the final horror freak. And I did. So again, if that was just a me problem, let me know. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, Alien Resurrection had a similar thing, except it was more alien than human. Xenomorph than human. And it, weirdly empathetic. This creature was just a disgusting thing. But, um... that It kind of, again, took me out of the movie a little bit, but also just... I shouldn't be laughing at the end. But uh, that, that kind of leads to, yeah, the second half of the movie was just alien by numbers. At a certain point, I started getting a little sick of the face huggers. They showed up a lot. But I did like them the first scene with the water. You'll see if you've seen the movie. I thought that was great. And again, looks great. There's some really good horror moments where like um, the android Andy is glitching in that one scene in the with the water. And the tension just keeps building and building and building and it's it's great so yeah it definitely got me a couple times the movie and it felt like an alien movie so i mean 
it's easy to throw around that this was like an alien fan film, but I mean, what isn't? You know what isn't? Prometheus? And then Covenant, even though it was made by Ridley Scott, by the time you get to the second half of that film, that also feels like, well, Ridley, we're going to grant you the budget for this movie, but you got to call it Alien, and you've got to have a xenomorph. From what I understand, he rewrote the script to, like, accommodate these things to make it more of an Alien film. So, you know, that happened with Ridley's movie. It happened here. Uh, it doesn't mean it's, it's bad, but, like, some people love Rogue One. I like it. I think it's good. Some people will love this. And some people are going to be like, nope, seen it already. This has been done before. Um, the characters were good. I liked them. The acting was good. Like I said, the android character, Rook, who uh, is the Ian Holm character, no need for him to be Ian Holm. That was the one performance that actually took me out of the movie just because I knew he wasn't that. So otherwise, the characters did well. There was one who was like, something in the water. Yeah, there's something in the water, man. You know, it's kind of funny. It's a little silly, but it just still, it worked. You know, the characters were fine. Uh, so that's about it. I, I'll shout out, there's a, um, a zero-G acid blood scene that I thought was fantastic. I generally thought the elevator scene was good. So even though I'm complaining about the end of the movie, the second half of the movie, for being so formulaic and kind of not really taking risks, it was still entertaining. So I can't say I didn't get my money's worth. But I wish the movie, you know, again, these characters want to get off the planet. They want to leave this shitty mining planet. The Wayland yutani company doesn't give a fuck about them. And they're willing to actually steal, like, uh, pods and do something stupidly dangerous, basically, to, to get off this planet. In that sense, the movie's about that. And doesn't really ask any bigger questions. But also, Alien, the first movie, that's just about, like, space truckers and a weird alien. But then there's a lot of subtext with the... Just Geiger's art isn't... It, there's a, a sexual weirdness inherent in his whole thing, in the alien itself, the xenomorph. And... Um, you know, the way that movie progresses is just, just, it's so hard to look away. I think it's like a perfect movie, basically. So this just feels like it's retreading that a bit. And when it does try to bring new stuff to the table, there's some cool stuff, but it's nothing that is making me say to myself, boy, I want to rewatch that immediately. Or I didn't leave the theater thinking about the movie. I was thinking about Blue Velvet, which I had seen the night before so anyway decent movie was worth worth watching let me know if you left okay spoilers are over and um, I'm just gonna do a quick ranking so we're gonna start with alien uh, Alien is one of my favorite movies ever made, and obviously it's going to be S-tier. There's no way it couldn't be. I do think it's just about a perfect movie, um, and it kind of just, every time I watch it, I'm still invested. And I love the, the set design, I love the, the music. I mean, that's another thing about Romulus, I didn't really mention it, but there's some decent musical callbacks. But Alien 1 in particular, the, the sets, the, mi the miniatures, the, um, you know, what they did for the, the time with the practical effects was incredible. Uh, Romulus also had some good practical effects. There's a lot of CG at times, um, but, you know, Alien 1 was the king of practical effects up until the thing came out. And uh, I do like Alien 1 a little bit better than Alien 2. Aliens because I like the, the atmosphere of it and the horror of it and the realness of the, the characters being just like so sick of being in space. It's hard to explain. I think Aliens is the more fun movie and I think it's almost on par, which is a miracle that something like that could even happen. 
because it was a different director and it was like a sequel and somehow well i mean we know why james cameron but it becomes this this incredible movie that in it also influenced video games definitely and just this whole like space marine obsession <laughs> definitely helped uh that whole genre of things and you know to this day they're still making alien space marine games and alien isolation being one of the few like actual horror alien movies well games you know what i mean i which i haven't played by the way so i'm gonna leave this here alien isolation i uh, i've talked about this plenty I'm hesitant to play it because I know it's like an 18 to 20 hour long game and that would frustrate me greatly because for horror games I could only really do six hours before I start wanting to just stop playing and play something else. I don't have the patience for that long of a game. I also heard that it kind of turns into a different type of game by the end and it's not maybe as good. So I don't know, one day maybe I'll check out a little bit of it, but at the moment I have no experience with Alien Isolation. Alien 3 is a weird movie, and um, I haven't seen it in a while, but there's a new cut of it. I think it was the work print cut. It, it's not a director's cut, because Fincher wants nothing to do with this film. But regardless, I have to watch that. I do like Alien 3 a lot more than some people do, and I like it more now than I did when I was younger. It was troubled. It's flawed. You know, the production, you, you can see Fincher just wanting to, like, just, like, quit. But there's some really interesting ideas in the movie with the prison planet. Uh, Charles Dance is good and plays a different type of character. Uh, Sigourney Weaver, I didn't mention, but she is phenomenal in all of these movies. Even Resurrection, but I love Sigourney Weaver. So she was she was just, like, on top of her game each time. But they did, you know, this movie, they, they, they unfortunately killed off Newton Hicks off screen, which is, I hate it, but, um, you know, that's what they did. And if you kind of forget about that and you just go with it, the movie's pretty cool. There's some weird creatures. The CG doesn't work. It's early CG. There's some good practical effects and, um, it just has its own unique feel in the alien universe and. I need to watch it again, and if there's another cut of it, I'd like to check that out. But, but I do like it. Um, Alien Resurrection isn't even on this list. Huh. Wait, is it? Is, is this it? I think that's it, yeah. Um, Alien Resurrection, I'm also going to put in the B category. It's campy. It's fun. It's the first alien I've seen because it was on HBO so much. There's um some it, it, there's some really weird moments with like the clones and shit, but also the underwater alien scenes good. I haven't seen it in a long time, but when I was younger, this was the alien movie I'd seen the most just because it was always on TV. But I do think it's a good movie with a lot of differences, too many for it to be a good alien movie, but it's still entertaining for me to watch. Again, I probably should have watched all of this stuff again just for this list, but my prior memories of this movie are that it's it's actually kind of it's kind of fun to watch and there's a like a really weird scene at the end where the alien gets sucked out of a tiny hole and Sigourney Weaver plays basketball. I don't know. But still pretty good. Uh Prometheus I'm also going to put in I want to put it in the A category, but it's too flawed. Prometheus is just too goddamn flawed. It has its moments. Prometheus definitely has its moments, and it does introduce a lot of interesting ideas, and I respect Ridley for doing the whole, you know, 180 and trying, like, here's a philosophical angle of who created who, and, and uh, here's the, you know, conception of life on this planet. Some of the scares are pretty good, but it's generally, um, you know, it's it's the, the dumbest characters in the world, which takes me out of the movie. They do really dumb things, but David is one of the best characters in the whole series, and the performance is incredible. 
I love when they get to the engineer and the engineer is like, wait, what are you doing here? Kill. I love the, um, you know, the, the whole, like, what is the point of life, uh, search that is presented here. So in, in that sense, the movie succeeds, but I just don't think it, again, it doesn't really succeed as like a, an alien movie. It, that's why it's not called alien. It's called Prometheus. I've seen the reappraisal of this movie and people are just kind of like really liking it a lot more these days. If there weren't so many like dumb little things, I would probably put this just in the A category, but it's just in the B category. Um, there's also the scene with the, um, the, the birth at the end. It's one of the most fucked up scenes in the whole series. So. Uh, Covenant is going... in the B category. This is going to be a boring tier list, but it gives me a chance to at least talk about this stuff a little bit. Um, Covenant is is weird. I rewatched that very recently, and it does another thing where it kills off a beloved character in between movies. So that sucks. And, uh, you know, I wish there would have been more of Dr. Shaw, but there's none of that. Uh, where it succeeds is, again, it continues the thread from Prometheus, and I think it's it's actually really creepy, this like weird engineer homeworld that's just abandoned. Um, again, very dumb characters that walk onto planets with no helmets. Um, some really interesting body horror, and uh, probably one of the worst, like the... The alien that bursts out of the dude's back. That one's probably one of the worst. But then it's just a comedy of errors where, like, a character slips on blood and another character slips on blood and then she blows up the ship. So, again, I don't really connect with some of these characters because they don't establish them. That's where Romulus succeeds. But, yeah, it's just, uh, it's an okay movie. And then it turns into schlock again. And it's okay schlock of, like, just an alien just doing the things again. But uh, the scenes with David and Walter, both played by Michael Fassbender, are the best in the movie. And I think that stuff is genuinely really, really well done. And uh, at the end of the movie, there's like the, the very ending of this movie is one of the actually like most gut wrenching scenes in the whole series. Like knowing that this a android David wants to create life and experiment with life and now has an entire colony ship to do that with and two face huggers it's like that's where i really want to see another movie because that ending leaves off and it makes you want more um avp i didn't really care for at all i know it's just like again i watched it in the theater as when i was younger and i was like yeah it's fun it's fun and then i watched it again as an adult i'm like it's it's just it's goofy, it's comic book. It's it's fun to watch for a little bit, but I don't really care for it very much. I didn't see Requiem, so I can't put that anywhere. I mean, listen, this movie, it, it had Lance Hen Henriksen, which is cool, and it had, um, you know, fights, sick fights and stuff, but not enough to make me want to go back and watch Requiem. And then we come to Romulus, which... I'm sorry is going in the B category. Like I told you, my list was going to be kind of boring. However, if I had to rate these, I'm going to say... Huh. So, of the B category, I like Alien 3 the best. I know I'm weird. Then Prometheus. Then the new alien, then Covenant, then Resurrection, and then AVP. But yeah, this this is the order. I need to rewatch Alien 3, but I do think Alien 3 is one of those movies that's going to... Um, every time I watch that movie, I'm going to have a slightly different opinion on it, depending on where I am in my life. But last time I saw it, I liked it more than I ever had. So... That's why it's in the B category. Again, in Alien Romulus, you'll notice it's like kind of right in the middle of the list. It's good. It's actually good. But once again, 
the only two movies in this series that have like ascended to some like god level are just alien and aliens everything else has been flawed interesting kind of fun and you know just you go see some some aliens do fighting and killing and body horror so that's that's okay by me i mean if if this series is doing well and they're making more games and they're making more movies as long as it's kept at this level of quality i don't mind too much i would love to see something you know in an ideal world i would love to see this but there was too much that just kind of soured me a little bit you know lists are kind of temporary for me and um I think eventually I can see this ascending or maybe just kind of ending up here or something. But right now, I'm going to say Romulus is a very solid alien movie in a series with a lot of solid alien movies and two amazing movies. And then, of course, whatever the fuck AVP Requiem is. So, anyway, that's it, pretty much. Thanks for watching. Um... You know, if I end up re-watching all these movies and I just kind of marath marathon them, I will somehow on my stream or somewhere maybe do a follow-up and just say if any ranking has moved. Or maybe I'll leave a comment here if that does happen. But at the moment, this just feels kind of right. So let me know what you think. You know what? Let me see the community rank. Hmm. Why is Alien Isolation in the D category? First of all, it's a game, so that's weird. Um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much almost my list, except I didn't have any in the A category. I just kind of had like a, a wishy-washy B category. But generally, I don't 100% disagree with this. It's, you know, it's about what I think. But yeah. So what do you think of Alien Romulus? Leave a comment, like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave, 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 leave.